almost falls down. Throws to the end zone. Oh, it's It will change, and I'm not trying to tell you something. Yeah, it's going to change. It's not like that. Okay, but I want you to understand where I'm coming from. It will change. And it will change because they wanted to change, not, not because of me. It will change because they want to be champions. Smith and a gun with Gore in his left hip. Third down, Alex takes the snap. Alex looking down and are you motherfuckers it's time to fucking time to take the training wheels off slap your fucking slap your fucking kid right the head wife in the titties get on the fucking horse and let's go the regular season is upon us steve looks like he's trying out for the medical staff right now <laughs> he's got a nike red collar on uh, i'm fired up i don't know why but i'm fired up this is the end of cunt season. Yeah, it's time to stop acting like a fucking, you know, talking about trades and this one and that one and fuck. Time to start hitting people for real right in the fucking mouth. You want to get into injuries? Yes. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, fucking vagina. Uh, the least surprising news, to me anyway, uh, Jerick McKinnon, season ending IR. Uh, his, his knee did not react well to a few practices they put him through, uh, late last week and he will need another procedure. He's done. There's no way that he's ever going to play for this team. The only reason that he's not cut is because we save money by keeping him for another year and cutting him after the season. That's the only reason he's still on the roster. He should go try out for a baseball team. He could probably steal second base. Well, yeah, if he could just bunt this way there or something. I no, I don't think so. I don't think, I think he's done okay. like forever. So that was fun. Uh, What's your scouts know, Rob? I envision a baseball future, center field. What do you think? Could he do it? I don't know. Did you ever see him play? <laughs> no. So I mean, <laughs> I remember him from Minnesota. If That's you it. If you walked through that door right now, I would have no idea. Right? <laughs> I'd be like, "Whoa, who's that big guy?" I mean, other than the fact, yeah, that NFL caliber. I mean, this guy looks pretty tough. Or... Who the hell is this guy? I will That's... say this though. <laughs> I mean, we'd probably, I know probably nothing. His, his left limp would probably stick out like a sore thumb. I'm sure we'd know right who he is. <laughs> the crutches would throw us. Yeah. Throw us a fucking... Sorry, Steve. What throw were you in there, Poppy? Uh, his three years in Minnesota, do you know how many games he missed? Zero. One. Yeah. It is... This is so fucking typical. It was the death of his child, right? Huh? No. That was good. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm not following. I was kidding. I know, but could you explain the joke? Like, uh, the only game he missed wasn't because of actual injury. It was because oh, okay. his gotcha, child gotcha, died gotcha, or something. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. No, he was... I mean, I was excited when we acquired him. I mean, granted, the price tag was high. I said that from the beginning. But at that time, it was whatever, because it's not like we were going to spend our cap there anyway. It's just shocking that he never played even a snap of it, a game no, that mattered. I've come to expect that now. We've been dealing this, with this for how many years now? It's like, I just come to expect it now. Yeah. Sucks. It just seems like, you know, they should have... Given money to like, well, yeah. See, happening. I don't, I don't know. I think, I think. People, what the fuck? I think people just dwell on the negative ones and don't think of the positive ones because everybody said the same thing about Quan Alexander, about uh, Ruben Foster's shoulder. But there's and also Malcolm Smith. He sucked dick holes. Yeah, but we only years. dwell on those ones. We don't talk about the fact that yeah. when we signed Quan Alexander, everybody in here was like, "Oh, another torn ACL. He's no, never going to play." We got to see what he does. He's never yeah. gonna, that's never, ever... Ha- Nobody in this podcast has ever been like, well, let's just wait and see what happens. <laughs> That's not how no, this I was, I was go, excited not going to fucking Juan. happen. No, I think he's a hot boy, and I think it's going <laughs> to bode well for he's him. He's still to be determined yet. He has yet to play a meaningful That's game. Right. You know, he can... Oh, I'm saying. 
Let's get them through a whole season. I'm trying to think if there is a successful rehabilitation story. Richard Sherman. Frank Gore? Right? Well, yeah. I, I mean, we're talking about recent history, though. Like, within the last well, five years. Street made the team. He's going on IR again. Come on. Yeah. Crabtree? Or he's a Nazi uh, short term IR. Uh, I'll get to that. No, I'm talking about like acquiring somebody else's uh, broken toy and mm. fixing it. I don't think we've ever done that. Are you still doing injuries? Yes. Okay, because after injuries, I got He's something. done one so far, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I know, I hate it. If you're keeping score. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, Weston Richburg should start week one, uh, coming off of the torn tendon. What is uh I just quad, right? I just couldn't find wording that said it was 100%, but I, it's pretty much 100%. They're expecting him yeah. to go. He's a hot boy. Uh, Kawan Williams with the knee. He's going to practice this week, and they say that rehab is trending well. I, again, I didn't see starting week one. Yep, I'll buy that, though. I'm guessing because they because of the way the roster looks that he is starting, because otherwise Jimmy plays this position. They that have be been real tight on safety. Uh, voicing more and more optimism over the past week about Nick Bosa's chances of suiting up for week one. Now, if he does, he, there's no way that they're going to throw him out there for the, the snap count that they would have had he been had this never happened. Like I, if they if he does go, I expect to see him instead of playing fifty snaps, him playing twenty two snaps. You know, yeah. just kind of get his feet wet. First pro game ever. Did not get a taste of the preseason whatsoever. I'm sure it'll be a package deal, and I'm sure. How the game is going will dictate if we're up by three points and they have not, the ball and they have the ball at the end. We're probably going to see him try to put the game away. Yeah, but if we're up by fourteen and they have the ball, you're not going to see Nick Bosa. Yeah, or if we're down by fourteen, you're not going to see him. Uh, Trent Taylor, did you want to say something? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, Trent Taylor, you're doing good. Is uh, definitely not playing week one, uh, dealing with the foot injury. I think it's going to be pretty much what everybody expected is that he's going to end up missing like three games. Two or three games. Wow. So, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they've been saying pretty much. Yep. I haven't been listening. Uh, Jalen Hurd. You heard me? There is no word on week one. You heard me? Heard better. Me? Now, did you watch uh, Shanahan's presser? No. I don't remember. He Probably. S- he said that he <laughs> is less optimistic about his chances for playing week one than he was two days ago. Yeah. They said it's a little bit more serious than they initially thought, so they're going to give him some more time to come back. That was old presser, though. That was like... Three or four days ago. Yeah, the it's most the recent newest thing one I got was from Lynch. Oh, see, I didn't get that one. Saying it's getting better. Okay, just meaning like it was worse. Now it's starting to get better. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that means. They uh, they kept plenty of wide receivers, so we're okay. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna see Hurd. Uh, Did you heard me? Week one. Now that is what we got for injuries. What okay, you want, what you got? So right? first of all, Joe, who do you think? This is my first question, and then I'm gonna do something else. Okay. Who do you think... You're asking me or the group? This is a group question. I assume game day we're only going to address two quarterbacks? Yeah. Who's going to be the two, the second? Mullins. Oh, it's Mullins, yeah. Okay. 100%. Okay. Now two. He said he was going to tell them on Monday. Oh, okay. So we'll know. In the fourth game, which I didn't watch, I only watched the highlights, um... Somebody asked Shanahan why he put Mullins in for only one series after the half and pulled him. And uh, he said because he was trying to get equal amount of quarters played in the preseason between uh, CJ and Mullins. And Mullins was down a quarter to CJ for playing time. So they tried to get him that one quarter, but there were some protection issues going on with the line. So instead of just keeping him in there, they just pulled him and put Wilton Spade in. So that told me right there. That he is our backup quarterback. He said he wanted to get him the same quarter. But <coughs> after he saw him take a few hits, he changed his mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number two. This is a picture from, uh, I don't know, Sandy B took this picture. So it's like maybe 2003, two. What jersey is that? It's me wearing a white jersey, 49ers. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's, Take I, a guess. I see it too. It's got to be a Frank Gore jersey. You're Wait, like, what? What year? Like two thousand and three. Okay, that was before we drafted Frank. Mm. Oh, mm. that's a that's could be a lot of people, man. That's trending into a, a time and place where I didn't really pay too much attention to Forty Nine ers football. Oh, well, this is why it's a it's a it's, a, it's got a two on it's it. It's a number starts yeah. with a two. Um, Garrison Hurst. Wait, how do you know it starts with a two? Because it's on your shoulder. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, you're right. Garrison Hurst. Just, you're right, Steven. Yes. Just used his sense of 
Optics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. And he right? knew it started yeah. with it, too. Well done. Yeah, well done. Yeah, good way. And so, did, do you want to know anything about the guy that's standing next to me? Sure. <laughs> Not really, but uh, yeah, now that you mention we it. We have an episode to fill, and you said, do you want to know? So. Uh, we could tell you later. You know, his name's Dave the Bear. Okay. He was a real fuck. He was a kid you couldn't bring. If you brought him to Duchess, per se, like, let's say you had to go. Dave got, the Duchess. Bear. Yeah. Of <laughs> all places, <laughs> Duchess. Let's, let's say you got to go into school early, or late one day. So, you go, all the kids get together, and they go for bacon, egg, and cheeses at Duchess, which is like a... Out here, it's like a, what would you call it, Dutch's? Like a fast food, like a higher end fast food restaurant. Yeah. Higher end in the sense that it's a little more quality meats and rolls it's and like such. A di- it's like diner level yeah. fast food. Yeah. Cheeseburgers, hot dogs, you know, pretty tasty shit. So Dave would go in there in the morning, and if they had like cardboard cutouts and stands, he would just go in there, he'd order a sandwich, he'd push them all over and scream, Ooh! like he was just a, like a large, mentally challenged human. He'd sit down. He would eat the entire sandwich except for one bite. Pull a hair out of his head, put it in the one bite, walk back up, be like, this is fucking bullshit. They'd be like, sir, you pull this with us every day. He's like, there's a hair in my sandwich and I demand another one. And they'd be like, would you give the big retarded kid another free sandwich? You know, like fatty kid, fatty's going to knock over the cardboard stands again if we don't. Was he a football fan? Uh, no, nah, later in his life, I think he is now. I think his. Let me one, guess. Let me guess. Patriots. No, nah, I think he's a Giants fan. Hmm. He, he, um, I hooked him up with his wife. Me and my wife hooked him and his wife up. She was living in a roast and roach infested apartment. His new, his current wife. And I brought him over there to install an air conditioner. The rest is a modern day love story. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have mentioned this before we started, but you have headphones on. Can you hear us? Does it sound good? Yeah. Well, there were some technical <laughs> difficulties before we got here, and I had to clean up some stuff on the on the mixer, and some of the dials definitely got turned. I don't know which ones. No, we did. So. If this was pushed in, that was Yeah, there was some stuff done. So basically what you're saying is that we have a mixer that has about 87 different triggers, and none of them really mean anything. No, because I, I definitely <laughs> moved some of them. 100% yeah, moved some of them. Yeah, and definitely some other crazy shit happened. And we're not that, on mute, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, like um, the, there was like a bar fight in here. It was crazy. In here? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it was wild. Episode two, stay tuned. No, no, <laughs> not that good. All right, so uh, real quick, just to wrap up the game, just to wrap up the preseason, uh, just to, the most notable plays of the game was uh, the first play of the game. Our defense gives up a 44-yard run. Uh, I think it was Anton Exum, another really bad missed tackle by a safety. We've seen that a few weeks in a row now where our safeties just can't clean up the garbage coming at them, and it ends up going for a big play. Uh, later on, we had Jeff Wilson had a nice uh, long touchdown run. He goes over to the left, stalls, cuts it back to the right. Uh, C.J. Beathard gets out in front of him for a block about 25 I, yards downfield. I watched field. that live. It was pretty good. That was badass, that huh? That was horny. Uh, there was another play. C.J. Beathard was riding a cowboy. He was. Uh, C.J. escapes the pocket, and he lobs up a rainbow for uh, Kendrick Bourne, who made a diving catch for a touchdown in the end zone. And He really made a push to make the team and did it. I feel pre- very comf- pretty comfortable saying that, uh, okay, the entire league played on Thursday night, right? See. We saw every single fourth string quarterback that night, right? I guess. You would assume so. Why there are you is no, at me? There is, <laughs> there is no way that there is a, a quarterback in this league that's worse than Wilton Spate, our fourth string why quarterback. Why do you think we had him? Well, here's why. I'll tell you why we have the worst fourth string. Because every any person that came to visit the 49ers to think about signing as our fourth string quarterback knows that there's pretty much zero chance of them making the roster. Yes. Other teams, their third string guy might be a little flaky. Yeah. And they're like, I could beat that guy right. and get a roster spot. Maybe a practice you're, You know you're just there. a punching bag if you're our fourth string, unless yeah. you were like... Some yeah, so this guy was definitely an undrafted free agent jerk off. He just got paid guy. to get beat up and throw yeah. some passes. That's Neither of you guys watched him throw any passes, right? I don't think so. If no. you watch him play court, it literally looks like they found a guy on the sidewalk and said, "You want to come to camp, learn some plays, and go out there and play court." It looks like an average guy going out there. Let me ask you a question. Yes, that if you got an opportunity to train for, let's just say, only four weeks. Yep. Just to get conditioned a little bit. Yep. To go out there and be uh, a, like a whatever, 
quarterback or even tight end just yeah. for a camp, would you do it? No. You wouldn't? No, I would die. You're a fucking cunt. You are a fucking cunt. Ask, ask Stuart Scott how that works out. Who? The dude from ESPN that ended up fucking blind and... Yeah, because he up. missed a pass. To yeah, because he's not an NFL football player. Wait, hold on. There's a story behind the eye? Yeah, he got hit with Wait, a he's dead now, right? He died? Oh, I think so. Yeah, he did. He died. You don't remember him from no. before the eye? No. It was, it was when he the, started on ESPN, he, both eyes were fine. It was at no. the Jets camp. I had he went no to idea. Jets training camp and took a fucking jugs ball to the eye. Get the fuck out of he here. Had a jugs yeah. machine through it and hit him in the eye. I did not know there was a story yeah, about it. I just thought up. he was born that way. He got it. It might be it might be on film. Wow. I don't know. I don't want to maybe I've, right? I've searched it at multiple times in my life and I don't think there's a video. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Yeah, if I went to go Cuz at some point in my life I went this guy used to be on here without this eye like this. What the yeah. fuck happened? And it, it was a fucking training camp accident. He was like doing a story, and he's in pretty good shape, and was like, well, fuck it, can I do that? Right. I, I forget how, I, I'm probably fucking the whole story up. But then he went and like caught a ball in the eye. Yeah, I mean, bottom of the roster, guys, you know what they make? They make like 100 grand. That's what I'm saying. So let's say you got six weeks, right? Yeah. 100 grand. No, because there's, there's a chance that I'm not walking right it anymore depends on for the, the rest position. of your Yeah. I'll kick. Kicker? I'll kick. I'll kick? 100%. Yeah. Okay. That's about it, though. Yeah. There's That's a chance really you walk it. out of there never walking defense. the same. I'd try, I would rather play defense than yes. offense. Because then I can control. Like, I'm just not going to hit him. I'm just like, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Like, if he's too big. I don't, I'm not forced. Well, you got to like, think. The first few people. weeks of camp aren't real hitting. You're not in, you're in soft pads and shit, right? So it's not a full six weeks of getting your ass kicked. Okay. So, it's li- it doesn't matter. I know. Like, it's one... I wouldn't play wide receiver for one hour. Mm-mm. I also wouldn't play running back for one hour. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play running line. back for one, one minute. Hour. I would not I would touch play, running back I would back play safety it. or cornerback would be my first two choices. Because it's more running and less hitting. Yep. And then linebacker would be my next choice, and that's pretty much it. I would, and again, I would try wide right receiver. It's because yeah, I could I just would. not do it if I didn't want to. Like I, I could would. just be like, no, no. I would definitely try it. I would suck. I'm slow. I'd get my ass you would but tr- I would try it. You like, couldn't even outrun us when you thought you were going to fucking know, smoke us. But I'm saying. At I'm any trying. minute, you're looking at that football, you're about to catch it, and you could yeah, be no. getting, like, no. killed yeah, fuck it. the next second. Fuck it. At least I'd die doing like laid I mean, out. At least I would die said, doing something I love. If it was like like a like a champion. Here's a hundred thousand dollars. Just play wide receiver for a week. I would do it. I would just never try it at all. <laughs> like they would snap the ball. And I would just step back. Like no, nope, nope, nope. nope don't. Even, I would look away so they wouldn't throw it at me. I would take the shot. So uh, I could go through fifty three man roster. So they were not kidding about keeping three quarterbacks. No, they weren't. I told they, you that you was said they were. I said you don't know what you're talking about. I mean last week it sounded like they were just trying to puff up some uh some price tags on Pump on, up the volume. I think that is still the case. It could be. I just don't I think that if you listen to Lynch, he said we put a value on them, mm-hmm. and we nobody met lower. that yeah. value. Correct. Yeah. I read that too. I think there's no way they were putting any one of either of them on the waiver line because they know they're gone immediately. Agreed. And they know at some point someone's going to come calling. He said they got a lot of calls, but nobody met the the. All it person. takes though is one injury next week, like that, and that's going to happen. Right. Mm-hmm. Somebody's going. I mean, look at what happened to Alex Smith. At well, the end there's of that. All, I mean, already what happened to uh, us last year. It's <laughs> all you know? at one injury to a starter. And now their backup becomes their starter, and now their third string or whoever's in their practice squad or, or becomes their third. Their the backup. wheels are already in motion because the Colts are sniffing around. Like they yeah. they ended up going. I don't know who they ended up picking up, but they picked up somebody. And it's not even crazy to think a backup gets hurt. No, you know what? And, yeah. and Denver lost their backup too. Drew Locke is dealing with uh, injury on his hand. Yeah. So yeah, but they, there's there if anything happens to uh, what's his name week one. Who's their starter? Uh, Flacco. Flacco. John Mayer. What are they going to do? You don't, and especially because their coach is our quarterbacks coach. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no way that they're not going to come sniffing around like the cunt bags they are. So at running back, and I guess you could throw fullback in there too. We ended up keeping four, which consists of Tevin Coleman, Matt Breda, Raheem Mostert, and Kyle Uzcheck. I love it. People are pissed about Wilson or whatever. Dag, what's his name? I was too until we got him back on our practice squad. He cleared oh, waivers. Squad. Oh my god, my cum buckets are so full. All the people they were worried. <laughs> most of the people they were worried about losing made it to the practice squad. Yeah, believe it or not. Yeah, and, and that makes me wonder if they did some sniffing around to see how 
if like they, they would make knew it, what was yeah. coming. I yeah. wonder how you sniffed that around, yeah, though. I don't know. Scouts, but. traders. So we ended up keeping four backs, uh, Black ops. seven wide receivers, which consists of uh, Goodwin, Pettis, Debo, Jalen Hurd, Richie James, Kendrick Bourne, and Trent Taylor, which leaves out uh, Jordan Matthews. Jordan Matthews. And one more. And um, Yeah, but nobody. Yeah. There's others that got left off, but nobody that. Yeah, nobody notable. So, yeah. And I think they were saying that Jordan Matthews is not going to get picked up by another team. So he's pretty much like an extension of the practice squad. Like even, even though he's not with the team, he's on his couch waiting for a call from us if there is ever All an injury. All we need is one spot, yeah. somebody to get fucked well, up. Well, and if they're worried about that happening, they could probably put him on payroll as a coach of some sort and keep him in, well, the, I don't know. And keep him in the building. Yeah, that's... I don't know. You know, like an assistant wide receivers coach and then just pay him a salary and that keeps him in the building. Mm-hmm. Other teams could still sign him. Like, that doesn't give us exclusive rights, but at least it keeps him with the team at practice seeing what's going on. That's an interesting thought. I, I don't know if that's what they do, but... <laughs> the, the wide receivers that didn't make it were Malik Henry and Chris Thompson. This next one, I just cannot wrap my head around one bit. Oh, my God. Four tight ends. Tell me, Poppy. We have... George Kittle, oh. Ross Dwelly, oh my God. Caden Smith, Ooh. and Levine Toilolo. And to go along with it, Dude. we wasted a practice squad spot on a fifth tight end named Daniel Helm. That tells me that Shanahan must use some of those tight ends for other things. Just for blocking. Because we're running that wide nine. Or, no, that's defense. This. But it, th- there's got to be. Because. All we heard about all preseason was was Dwelly. Yeah. There was nothing about these. I didn't even know their names until I read it on mm-hmm. here. So there must be something where they're they're just not flashy. They're doing blocking stuff. Did you see the 49, the pictures they posted of these guys? No. Check out the tight end group. A real interesting group of characters, it looks like, eh? Yep. I mean, I'm a big Caden Smith guy. I'm glad that I was happy that we took him in the draft where we took him. I've said numerous times that had he returned to Stanford, I think next year he would have been a third round pick or earlier. So notice I'm, how everybody is nice, right? Like it's all like everybody's yeah. put together nice much. <laughs> what's what's that? So just scroll through them. You see how that one guy's got his picture frame cut? He's like not there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I so. don't know. But if you offense and defense, it's the only guy that's like that. The 49ers Instagram account we're looking at posted, like, promo pictures of, of the, the 53. Of the 53, and then some of these guys didn't even get to pose for a photo shoot, so they just have headshots. Yeah, it's funny. No, it's just that one guy. It's just, what's his name? Did you get it? Yeah. Um, D- Daniel Brunskill? Yes. Brunskill! <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... <laughs> Brunskill, like, what the fuck? Who even is he? Uh, he's a defensive lineman or no, offensive, no, offensive yeah. lineman? I mean, this, this is probably my biggest gripe is the fact that we kept four tight ends and used a practice squad spot on a fifth tight end. That's like when you have one of the best tight ends in the league. <laughs> Moving on. Well, this would be a good time. I'm going to interrupt you for one second. Okay. I just want to play you someone's assessment of one of our tight ends. Okay. Hold on. i got to make sure i got the right spot. Oh, boy. Ooh. This is like, this is like um, oh, mystery quote. Sounds not going to work. It's like mystery jersey, mystery quote. Oh no, I don't think the sound's gonna work. Come bucket. Hold on. All right. Well, I'll power through. You you do that. Moving on to uh, Come offensive line. Pretty straightforward. Staley, Tomlinson, Richburg, Mike McGlinchey, Mike Person, Ben Garland is our backup interior, and Daniel Brunskill is our backup. Brunskill. Tackle our swing tackle, and then uh, of, we still have Justin School, who was the tackle that got hurt in the first game. So we still have him under contract for next year. Brun skill. Well, I'll tell you what. From what I saw from Brun, he's gonna be my favorite player. Now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Brun skill. <laughs> from what I saw from Ben Garland in the preseason, garlic. If- any of oh. our fucking linemen get hurt, it is just, it's going to be bad. Jimmy it's going to get to be a dead man. It is going to get ugly quick. You better put cap in. That's my biggest worry for this season is is injuries to the offensive well, line. I think Ben Garlic will be okay. Yeah, yeah I think he, he's going to be just backup. awful. Good guy. He's a good guy. 
they should defensive have line, we choose to uh, go with 10 guys uh, consisting of Buckner, Bosa, Ford, Armstead, Solomon Thomas, DJ Jones, that nose tackle, Ronald Blair still hanging around, and Contavious Street, who's probably going to go on short-term IR with a knee injury, and Julian Taylor, seventh-round pick from two years ago, makes the final 53 in back-to-back years along with Sheldon Day. Let me ask you, what happened to the guy who led the AAF? We did. Uh, we waived him, and I don't think he made it back onto the practice squad. He did not make it back onto the practice squad. I was hoping squad. for him, but actually, no I don't even know if he was practice squad eligible. To be honest, right? I I don't know. I think he might have too many years of service in. All right. So moving on to linebacker, we got five guys: Quan Alexander, Fred, Steady, Freddy, uh, Dre Greenlaw, Mark Nizacha, Az- Aziz Al Shahir. And out of those guys, I'm really surprised that they went with Nizacha over David Mayo because Nizacha has been with us for, I think, three years now, going back to Shanahan's first year, and I've seen him make more mistakes than I've seen plays from him. And David Mayo just joined the team this year, and I saw more from him in this preseason than I ever saw from Nizacha. Maybe the other dude practiced as well. Maybe. We can, I can only I base know, off of what I see. Yeah, I hear you, Papa. But maybe based off of experience, maybe he does more special teams work. I don't know. I liked what I saw from David Mayo in the preseason. And does I, your I child would... call you Poppy? No, not a, not even close. Papa. Yeah, he's still he's still putting sentences together. But does he call you Papa? No. Do you does come not home call and me he's Papa. like Papa, Papa? Yeah, does not do that. Okay. And <laughs> that'd be dope, though, right? Moving on to <laughs> no cornerback. You should train him to do that. And it uh, keep got, six. I got the. The person's. This is a person's assessment of one of our tight ends. Okay. Volume's working. Uh, yeah, the cracker Kid. tight end. Yeah. Um, aside from quarterback, his name is Cornbread. Cornbread. Aside from quarterback, tight ends usually take the longest amount of time to develop. Uh, and also, there were obviously confirmed reports that we were Not actively. Aaron Hernandez. We were actively <laughs> shopping Vance McDonald. And since this is Kyle's guy, he might be competing for a starting role right away. Although, what I see, what I saw from his game, just from watching his college film, this is now st- this is George Kittle. Mouth. Yes, this is George Kittle. To me, he looks like a less athletic version of Vance McDonald. <laughs> Great, inconsistent hands. <laughs> awesome. He loves blocking, and he's good at it. And he's, he's kind of athletic. He's good at getting in large men's way. Yeah. Great. <laughs> can, we, can we talk about? <laughs> If you go back and listen to old episodes, there's gems every yeah, Thursday. Right. It's imagine. nonstop. It's I believe much, it. It's too much to even cultivate. Yeah. Like, part of me was like, we should just listen to old... The new episode should be us listening to old episodes. Oh my right? God. It's it, like so a live incredible. reaction show. It's so... Well, maybe because if, if we're going to have... If I had, like, a... the, the technology to just, like, listen through and go clip, 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 it would be gold, but it's just too much work. Yeah. If, um... And may... at the beginning of that, what I didn't catch is you said something about George Kittle, and Joe goes, fuck George Kittle. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that when you were, when I heard that your your assessment was gonna be or whatever when I heard it was us I was like oh this you is thought it was be, a joke clip this is gonna be me trashing George Kittle oh that's good fuck you Steve you don't oh that's that. a good segue I have a clip of you too oh, oh great all right it's a really good segue here we go I was gonna do this later when we were doing predictions why don't you tease fun. it all right yeah we'll save it for predictions yeah. fuck it stick around for next show good Con. call good call tease it we'll save it for predictions you gave him a Epis- little appetizer episode two. Yeah, the main two. course is yeah. coming episode two. Wait and for do the predictions. You, do you have dessert or no? Just appetizer main course. Just two. Okay. I got lazy. Well, I mean, that is a good time. idea. If there's ever an enthusiastic listener out there that wants to go back and bring up really stupid shit that we have said there's in so the past. so much it's not even... You just go back to one old episode, and every ten minutes there's something ridiculous that's <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> we couldn't be more wrong. Right. Hey, listen, we claim to be a lot of things, never an accurate NFL football. The irony is, while listening to the old episodes, I found that email of the guy that was really mad about Joe using the F word multiple times. I don't remember that. The, I do. The Gaysler. I don't remember that. Um, I do. And and in that we were very explicitly telling them that we're not accurate about anything. Yep. But in that same episode, there was a whole bunch of stuff that we were not remotely accurate about. I believe it. That's pretty good. But sometimes we guess things right. Sometimes. Yeah, I mean, if you close your eyes and throw a hundred darts, one of them might hit a bullseye. Joe. Yep. I agree. I like those odds. Yep. 
So I do well when it darts. Wrapping up the roster here, we ended up keeping six corners. Uh, Sherman, Akello, Kawan Williams, Jason Verrett, who they are optimistic about playing week one. And DJ Reed and Emmanuel Mosley. So, I mean, I think that that is a pretty good group. Um, I mean, this is not up or shut up year for Akello, I think. I mean, he's he's got to grow a pair of nuts. Otherwise, Jason Verrett's going to take his job or somebody else is going to take his job or they're going to end up drafting a corner in the first round next year because that is just the biggest hole on the defense right now is our second corner, and it was the biggest hole last year. What if he has a Pro Bowl year? Fantastic. That's what we wanted. Okay. But, I mean, I think this is... fucking faith. I mean... Well, he did say it's a put-up-or-shut-up year, which means exactly that. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be shrugging my shoulders about <laughs> Akella Witherspoon at the end of the year. If I'm shrugging my shoulders, it means we got to find somebody else. Well, let me ask you, now that you're on the medical staff, how's his ankle holding up? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I want to know how his ball sack's holding up, because every single time I see him play, that dude is soft. Okay. I've never... I, he, was, he was actually making tackles in his rookie year, and then he got soft in his sophomore year. He needs to be hard-pressed in the locker room by a large man. So, you're wondering where we're coming up short after keeping three quarterbacks and seven wide receivers and four tight ends. Here it is. That's 14. We only end up keeping three safeties, which we never get injured at safety. Right? <laughs> I don't know, do we? Here's the three. Jimmy Ward, he never gets hurt. Kwaski Tart, he never gets hurt. Tavarius Moore, to be determined. Well, I guess we could always hire somebody on the spot. DJ Reed... Can play safety. It's not his natural position. I don't like him at safety. He's a nickel corner, but he can play safety. Most of our backs are very fluid. And Versatile. Can play multiple positions back there, which is why they're on the roster. Yes. We do a lot more of that. It's like, uh, like a baseball team that has a bunch of pretty good relief pitchers instead of a, that ace in the hole closer. Mm-hmm. Like They can all kind of mix and match and plug a hole when needed. Which I totally get, but I, I don't... Think- I, I think we put all our eggs in the defensive line basket anyway. How, how can you seriously sit there and justify keeping Levine Toilolo over Adrian Colbert? Fuck Adrian Colbert. I mean, like, I know Adrian Colbert. Colbert didn't even go. He's not, I don't know if he went somewhere or what, but. He's, no. We waved him. And, like, I get it. He was not good last year. But that's a guy with experience in our system at a position where we always get riddled with injuries, but you choose to keep a fourth tight end. That just doesn't make sense Are to you, me. And there's rules for pra- practice squad, right? Yes. That's why he's not there then. Well, Colbert? Mar- Marcel Harris is on our practice squad. Colbert is practice squad eligible. Oh, huh. maybe he's not because he's played enough, or maybe he's not started he enough was games. UDFA. Yeah. I don't know if there's different rules between undrafted free agent and Nobody seventh rounder. To, maybe with I've how read them before. He started. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I've read it before. I don't remember. Yeah, what there's a lot of rules that you lose track of. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I think that that's going to come back to bite us in the ass. Okay. Because Marcel Harris is on our practice squad. Yes. Okay. That's if you scroll down there. There. Yep. I'm getting to that. Just finishing up the specialist place kicker, Robbie Gold, punter Mitch Wisnowski, and long snapper, Colin Holba. But then when our dude comes back, he goes bye-bye. We extended. But what about bone skill? (laughs) (laughs) We extended our, uh, our... Fucking PED using... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down! Yeah, that happened to me earlier. Joe provided us with uh, cup coasters, and when you go to pick up your moist drink, it sticks to the cup. Just be easy. Don't throw shit here. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta like, like tear it off. Yeah, you take... can't go straight up. You gotta tear it off. I'm gonna slap so e- each team is allowed to carry 10 players on its practice squad. Yes. They're allowed to practice with the team. They're not permitted to play in any games. Uh, it's a chance to evaluate players during the season. In addition to those 10, teams that participate in the International Player Development Program can also carry one international player on the practice squad. Not all players are eligible for the practice squad. Teams are allowed to sign four players with two accrued seasons to the practice squad. The other six must have fewer than two years' experience. Okay. Interesting, right? Two accrued years. Does that mean total? Season. So Colbert has two accrued years. You're allowed to have four with two accrued seasons. Or more. It just said, yeah, that's the way. It's not worded that way, but it must be. All right. Because the other six have to have less than two. Gotcha. Players can't stay on the practice squad for more than three seasons. Hmm. 
and must be on the practice squad for a minimum of six games for that season to count towards the three-year limit. So getting to our practice squad, Weird. we have uh, just top to bottom, Demetrius Flanagan Foles at linebacker. Kevin Givens, defensive line. He played pretty well in the preseason. Marcel Harris, our fifth, no, sixth round pick last year at safety. I liked, I liked Marcel Harris. I liked what I saw from him last year. I'm surprised that we waived him, and I'm even more surprised that he cleared waivers. Uh, Daniel Helm at tight end. I've already harped on that enough. Malik Henry at wide receiver. Elijah Lee at linebacker. We, we just keep sticking on to him. Mm-hmm. And Ross Reynolds at guard. Jeremiah Valo, Valo- Jeremiah, no, Just It's easy. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. That's Jeremiah it. was a bullfrog at defensive line. And uh, the star of the preseason, Jeff Wilson, running back, clears waivers and lands on our practice squad. Do you know Jeremiah was a bullfrog? Nope. Hmm. Steve... You know, uh, much, you know how much a practice squad player makes? No, I there's, do not. There's no limit, but there's a minimum. Okay, what's the minimum? Minimum is 8000 a week. Even during the off season? No, it's just during the season. Okay. It just says players on the practice squad will make a minimum of 8000 per week. So I don't over... think you're on the practice squad until the season starts. Cause so it's 25000 24 a month. Yeah. 17 week yeah. season, that's 136 yeah. grand. Not bad. Hey, I'm sure there's some bonuses in there if you jerk off on. That's the minimum, right? Like if you're under contract, it's it's more, you know. Yeah. So, so Todd, Joe, Steve, Joshua Garnett is no longer in our life. That's good. He, he is gone. He doesn't deserve to be. Who picked him? Balky. Okay. We traded up. We traded back into I the first round to get him. I know what we did. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that move hasn't oh, been working out too well for us. I want us. to tell you something. Yes. I watched a video on YouTube. It was a 12-minute breakdown of the Michael Crabtree Texas Tech catch. Yes, that, the thing that made you fall in love with him. Right, okay. So it broke down everything that led up to that moment, how both teams got there, the whole thing, you know, how they were in that position in that game. It broke down the season before, you know, everything. It was very detailed in the 12 minutes. And I learned something about that play that I did not know. Do you know who one of the guys he beat in the secondary was? Ooh. Who, what school did they play? Texas. Texas Tech played against, oh, Texas? Correct. Ooh. Earl Thomas? Correct. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. I did not know that. I was like, whoa. I thought that was cool when I watched this video. Yeah. Good. And, it, yeah, it made me. Uh, Literally, the only notable Texas secondary player that I knew was Earl Thomas. There you go. Yeah, because the guy that. <laughs> After he, that, I was out of guess. The guy that he was, that was directly covering Crabtree was a guy I was like, ah, I didn't know. So we are at about 36 minutes. Um, we got a bunch of stuff lined up for the next episode. Do you want to wrap this one up? So, what we'll say is. Before we just cut it abruptly, you can email us, which many of you did. Some of you did multiple times, and that's fine, too. Uh, we're at the it's a gold-blooded podcast at gmail.com. We are currently, the, the, the floodgates have opened. Uh, many of you have already sent hundreds of dollars. We'd appreciate the more of you to send the hundreds of dollars. It's uh, Steve, tell them where they could do this. The cat's here because he knows we're asking for money. He likes that cash, so what is it? Patreon.com backsplash Goldwater Podcast. That's right. Send the money for the bastard cat. Um, we got an Instagram. Curran's been doing some little things over there. He's getting ready for the season. He's really going to start slapping hookers once the season kicks off. Slapping hookers? That's right. On the Instagram. <clears throat> With that said, uh, Larry the Hat died, so we'll dedicate this episode to Larry the Hat. That was my uncle. Rest in peace. Yeah, that's right. Larry the Hat. Nice guy. He's a funny guy. Uh, anything else? Nope. Bobo? Nope. Chris? Nope. All right. Goodbye.